All right, I'm gonna tell you about my campaign. Last time I ran for Brantford mayor, I wanted to pay all the people who were unemployed to shovel the snow, and I was gonna pay them with Brantford bucks, tax credits. Anybody could use them to pay their taxes, so everybody would take them in their stores. Lost. So this election, it dawned on me. If the biggest member of our group was the bus system, we could pay all these unemployed kids to shovel the snow with bus tickets. During the Depression, in Sudbury, Paul Demarais, when he was broke, paid all his employees with bus tickets and everybody took them and that saved the town. So I figured we can do the same thing. We got, what, 10,000 kids maybe in Brantford? Times maybe 10 hours a week? Five million kid hours getting rid of the ice on the, and cleaning the streets and helping old people because around the world there are what they call time banks now. And if you babysit for someone, they'll babysit back for you. And in Japan, if you take care of someone over here, their mother, someone will take care of your mother over there. So you bank your time helping people in the health system in Japan, then you can call on those hours yourself later. So, I'm gonna run for Brantford mayor. And I asked my campaign. So I sent a letter to 1,800 politicians across the province saying, hey, why don't we all get together and promise to pay our kids with bus bucks but we have to set up an online account at City Hall, like PayPal. Many software programs do this, where the kids can register the hours they put in. Now, when I went overseas 10 years ago, I paid for 39 nights out of 40 with an IOU for a night back in Canada. Every con 11 countries in Europe, they've even got LAT systems in Warsaw and Krakow already. So if I go to Poland, I don't have to pay cash. I get someone who's going to take my IOU for a night back in Brantford. Anyway, that's what we're going to be able to do with the kids who put in their time. And out of 1,800 politicians, I wrote and said, hey, if you guys in your towns set up an online bus bucks time bank, then our kids can stay in your town and your kids can stay in our town. How many are in favor of it? 21. 21 people in the whole of 1,800, including Martin here, wrote back and said, I like the idea of paying kids with bus tickets. So, what can I say? This is the time where they're not gonna get bus tickets right now, but then again, during the campaign, I was going to pass out my little flyers here. And I went over to Pauline Johnson. And four years ago, or three years ago in the provincial election, they got all the students who were adults to vote into one place, and then the principal banned me, and I couldn't go. Now, the reason they said to the expositor was that I wanted to talk about legalizing marijuana. And I do. I want to get our generation off alcohol and chemicals and get them onto the herbal, because they found that marijuana kills cancer and it regrows brain cells, which is why it's good for Alzheimer's. So you got friends with cancer and Alzheimer's, they voted for it because the guys they voted for banned the stuff that could have kept them cured. So I'm leading the fight in Canada to legalize healthy herb and dispel all the stupid lies they've made about marijuana. And uh, hell, it's legal now. You can get it out of Health Canada for a whole bunch of diseases. This thing is better for more diseases than anything else on the planet. And it's still illegal. That's my fight and they banned me from going to that debate said, you come up, we're going to charge you with trespassing. Here I am now outside Pauline Johnson, and I go there with my video camera, and here's what I say to kids. I walk up and say, listen, I want to pay you with six bus tickets an hour, 12 bus bucks. Would you and your friends, you have any friends who'd work for bus bucks? How many of you think said no? One. In the whole campaign. All the others are sure, sure, sure. So I get these kids on video saying, I'll work for bus bucks, and then I put it at my website. JohnTermel.com, and you click on bus bucks and you can see all these videos and every debate I videotaped and I put the whole debate and then my parts explaining how bus bucks would work and then here I go to Pauline Johnson and I'm passing out my flyers uh, first three kids are yeah great you know then I get to the school and all of a sudden out comes the vice principal and a teacher and they go we don't want you videotaping our children our children Every one of them's over 12, doesn't need a babysitter no more, and I'm on the sidewalk, and I said, no way you're not moving me. So anyway, these guys start pushing me and blocking me. And I don't know if you played basketball when you were in high school, you remember? Non-contact sport, like out in the streets, you cannot touch someone. That's a foul. 
Now, if you're standing there, I can't go through you. But if I go around you, you can't move into my lane. So these guys were blocking me, pushing me, and I got it all on videotape. So anyway, they call the police. Police arrive. Now, at one point, these guys are pushing me, pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. And I, I got my hand, camera in this hand, flyers in the other. I said, if you don't stop touching me, I said, Jiu-Jitsu John's going to kick you in the nuts. So, when the, they kept pushing me, pushing, push, I never kicked them. Pushing, pushing. Finally, the cop shows up and he went, oh, he threatened me. And that was a charge. And shouting to the hundred kids I was talking to. So anyway, the cop, he's got these hysterical teachers thinking there's a catastrophe going on. Termel's videotaping our children. He's a molester, whatever. And so they take me away and charge me. But at the videos, you can see it yourself, what happened. I never touched anybody. And I wasn't talking that loud for a crowd of 100 people. So the proof is right on the internet, and the cops didn't wait for the proof, and unfortunately they deleted most of the clips I'd taken. All the ones with police in the video, gone. But the last piece with the teachers pushing me around, they kept. So can you imagine how I'd have been in trouble if they cop had deleted the one where the teachers were pushing me around too, instead of just deleting the ones with the cops in the pictures? So anyway, I've got my great defense, but I mean, the, the, sorry, the expositor, they just picked up the story and said, John Termell charged with uttering threats, and which shouting or causing a disturbance. And they never actually called me up to ask me what happened. And even when I posted the video, they never bothered to go check it out to see what happened. So, heck, I mean, who's going to vote for the guy they just put in jail for three hours for attempting to molest the children with his video camera? I didn't even vote for me. So, I voted for the guy, the one candidate, who stood up for me at one point in front of a really angry audience of poor people. And I'd say, hey, you voted for Trudeau and Mulroney and Critzia and, and, and Harper. You deserve your poverty. So they were all mad at me. And he stood up and said, hey, listen, no matter what you feel about Termel, the barter stuff's pretty good. So what can I do? Well, I'm not going to tell you now, but I voted for Chris Friel did. So the point is, if anybody is going to give us a bus bucks jobs for our kids, it's going to be Chris Friel. He's the only one with the leadership to stand up to an angry crowd and tell them that no matter how much you hate this guy, the system ain't so bad, so that I'm going to send in three or four kids, a 12-year-old, a 13, a 14, a 15, and a 16, to go explain bus bucks to city council because I was unsuccessful. So I guess the sad part is that Branford's going to be the first town in history to reject giving kids with bus bucks jobs. But I did get 21 candidates across the province who liked the idea and said, we're still going to keep doing it after the election. Because I went up to some stores and I said to Stromboli Pizza, hey, I got these kids that are going to shovel the snow. Would you give them a 10% discount? I'm like, sure. I said, well, don't eat the discount. Take 10% bus bucks. So Stromboli, the station restaurant, uh, two martial arts clubs, and Minuteman Press will take 10% bus bucks if it starts up. So I'm going to send these kids in to City Hall and say to the mayor, how about starting us an online City Hall bus buck system so we can shovel the ice for the old people and rake their leaves. And remember, in a time bank, the base is a volunteer hour. So if you go help an old person and they sign thank you, that counts. So when I went to Europe 10 years ago, five hours per night to stay overseas, and if a kid helps an old person for five hours as a volunteer, someone in Europe's gonna put them up for a night too. So the kids understand right away, and the message really didn't get out, and I don't really blame the Brantford people who didn't even know what they had a chance to have, five million kid hours of labor. And except for Martin here, you know, another good Polak like me. So we got the brights, we got the sharp genes, smart enough to see what this could do. And I just wanted to come by and say thank you, Martin, for having sent me those letters of support. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make sure to help you next time get elected, if you don't this time. Okay. And by then, it should be fixed, I won't have to try no more. So, anything else you want to say a little bit while you're here? Uh, I, 
I think bus box will work if we can get the, the new mayor, once he's elected, to support it. I think and that... And get council to debate it a bit. Well, we're going to send in the kids and make sure the topic comes up. Mm -hmm. And with kids saying, please let us work, what are they going to say? Right? <laughs> Maybe we'll send in a hundred kids. You want, it, it would be good to get the kids to work because that would get the youth out of the unemployment. Plus, it lets them go to the community centers like the rich kids. Because when I was a kid, I couldn't go on the bus to the, you know, to the outings with the rich kids. The bus went empty, two seats empty. Because I go, no money, I can't go. What kind of a system sends an empty bus? Because half the kids got no money. Well, let them work for bus bucks. They can go with the rich kids. Let them work for bus bucks. They can go to the community center. Have a transit card. Yeah, let the poor kids work. You should see their faces on the video when I say you want 12 bus bucks an hour. Yeah, go watch. They're ready to work. You want some kids raking your leaves? <laughs> Let's help them. And with bus bucks, you, they, the kids would have money to join the hockey team. That's right. Buy hockey equipment. Yeah. Go to the grocery store. And pay someone to put the ice outside in the winter. And crossing guards. These guys ought to be rewarded. Okay? They don't get paid, do they? They just get a pretty hot dog at the end of the year. Crossing guard kids. Oh, they don't pay. So there we go. That would be an ideal volunteer hour to register. You know what I mean? There's so many volunteers get nothing for their time but a pat on the back. When if they registered, I put in 100 hours a year for the last 10 years at the SPCA. That counts. 1,000 hours in your account and everybody overseas will put you up because you're a good bet. You contributed. So all you got to do is get someone to sign, thank you, you made me happy, put a smile on my face, and that counts as a time dollar in our world. So anyway, one more time, Martin, thank you before we shut this down. That'll be on tonight.